Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. Farmington Hills police arrested a man they call a serial prowler. The suspect, identified as Kenton Driscoll, was captured on a homeowner surveillance camera. Police say he's been lurking in yards and peering through windows, not only in Farmington Hills, but other communities as well. Driscoll is charged with prowling. Police say at least four incidents are connected to the same person in the last month, and there could be more victims out there. The Birmingham School Board is moving forward with an amended budget to fill a $14 million gap. Parents demanded answers at a board meeting Tuesday night. The deficit was blamed on some key miscalculations, including salaries and retirements. Student enrollment was also overestimated. Most of the shortfall will be filled with federal funds. Homeowners who were overcharged on school taxes will receive a credit on upcoming property tax bills. Well, charges are catching up with a suspected bank robber caught on camera in Dearborn. A criminal complaint says Charles Woolery passed the teller a note threatening to kill everyone at Dearborn Federal Savings Bank if she did not hand over the cash. He allegedly ran off with almost $1,700 on March 2nd. Police jumped into action to track Woolery and found him hiding in a porta potty, potty, should I say. They took him into custody without any more issues. The complaint says they also found $1,690 in cash and the note used in the robbery. A fundraiser to benefit children in Ukraine is being touted as a big success. More than $25,000 was raised as part of the Pot and Pierogi Initiative. The effort was a partnership between Luxury Loud Cannabis Provisioning Center and Schrodix Sausage Company in Hamtramck. The business is teamed up to offer pierogi and kielbasa with each cannabis purchase. 100% of the sales went to benefit UNICEF children in Ukraine. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your seven first alert forecast. Dave? Big heat coming the next couple of days. If you run into fog tomorrow morning, watch the temperatures because there might be a few spots just below freezing. Of course, don't have any slippery spots on the roads. But sunshine in the morning, partly sunny in the afternoon. Wednesday, 64, the warmest in four months, but we can do better. Thursday, 67, then a cold front, so it's a little wetter and certainly cooler back to the mid to upper 40s Friday and Saturday. But Sunday, spring starts in the morning, and here we go, back to the 50s. 45 is the average high this time of year.